this for me. Calc. For me. Calc. Wander down this road that we call a life. What we're doing is good to know our friends will always stand by me. When this for me. Do you think we have that test on derivatives today? Corey, we have a test every Wednesday. You know that. Yeah, but today's Save the Earth Day. We need to save paper, and that starts with having less tests. <laughs> Corey, you're talking nonsense. I love the Earth. It's you people that are ruining it. What was the last thing you did to help the Earth? I save water every day. And how? I don't wash my underpants. <laughs> okay, it looks away. It's time for your test. Pencils only. This is our last test of the marking period. Well, if that's how you feel about it, we can have one more. Oh. Wait, Mr. Rose, I have a question. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. What do you want to learn? Chain rule? You want to take the derivative of Sign of x plus 4 <laughs> quantity squared. Yeah, let's learn that. That's calculus today. Not. Geez, man, I'm sorry about Mr. DeBose taking the calculator. You're sorry? Corey, that was your calculator. It was, Sean, but I wasn't caught. Why would you even have your calculator out in the non-calculator portion of the test? Why would you even look at my calculator on the non-calculator portion of the test? Corey, what if this was the AP test? I wasn't thinking, but come on, Sean, I've never seen you think. <laughs> I'll make it up to you, Sean. I'll get you tickets to a No Doubt concert. You know, No Doubt. <laughs> you know, they got that song, what is it, uh, Super Freak? Corey, it's called Don't Speak. Whatever, man. I can't believe this. Hey, Corey. Hey, Topanga. How do you think you did on the calculus test? Um, I think I failed, but how did you do? I think I did about 90% good. And the other 20%? <laughs> what did you get for 7C? Well, I took 2 pi times the function times x and then from 0 to 3. You used cylindrical shells? Yeah. Corey, you were supposed to use the washer method. I just don't know anymore, Topanga. Corey, how are we supposed to raise our kids together if you don't understand calculus? Topanga, I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say. I think we need a break. Hi, hon. Just finished running some errands. Okay. What did you get at Macy's today? <laughs> oh, you think you know me so well. Well, what did you get? New shoes. <laughs> but I also got an AP count review, review book for Corey. I remember taking my AP Calc exam. That was a fine day in a man's life. Until I got the score back. Hey, honey, so how did Calc go today? 
It was fine. That doesn't sound fine. Alright. I got into an argument with Sean, and then me and Topanga got into a fight. She broke up with me. Oh. I thought we were going to be together forever. Well, what happened? I used the cylindrical shell method instead of the washer method. Oh. I thought something like this might happen, so I got something for you. She got herself new shoes. <laughs> I got you a new calc review book. I thought that this would help you do better. Thanks, Mom. Corey, I had some Apple Jacks this morning. Why do you eat those? They don't taste like apples. Whatever, Dad. I eat what I like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to study for this. Corey, don't you have calculus to study for? I saw what happened in calculus today. It's time for your review. <laughs> well, you use the cylindrical shell method on the test, and you're supposed to use the disk method. See, the disk method is only for whenever the entire area of the solid is against the axis of rotation. Like, look at this one. X equals 12 times the quantity, y squared minus y cubed, and you're rotating around the line y equals 1. You see what the graph looks like? It's not, the whole thing's not against the axis of rotation, and it's with respect to x. So instead of trying to switch it to with respect to y, which would be really difficult, you can just use the cylindrical shell method. Corey, are you playing fast tunnel again? No. <laughs> so you want to find the y-axis intercept by saying the equation equals zero, and then solving for y, and you get y equals zero and y equals one. So just visualize this solid being rotated around the line y equals one. So, h is the distance from the line y equals 1 to r, which is found by 1 minus y. The value of the axis of rotation minus the y value of r, thus finding h. Does it make sense? Yes. Corey, so just remember, the general form for a cylindrical shell is volume equals the integral from a to b of 2 pi times the shell radius times the shell height dx. a and b are your limits of integration, which is from the beginning of the shade region, which is in our case, the y-axis to the axis of rotation, y equals 1, for us. The volume equals the integral from 0 to 1, which we found finding the y-intercepts earlier on in the problem. The integral of 2 pi times the quantity 12 times the quantity y squared minus y cubed times the quantity 1 minus y dx. So all you have to do is evaluate this integral with your calculator, and you get the volume. It's 2.51327 units cubed. Corey, stand up. Mom, I need some water! <laughs> I think I'm ready. Do you think? Or do you know? Oh baby, I know. <laughs>